Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in uh, good old Missouri, or Misery, or whatever you want to call it, uh, where we've got this house proudly advertising a refreshed price, which is just, that's such realtor language. What they actually mean is they took the price down by over five million dollars that's right it's now under 15 which means they cut the price by over 25 percent that's bananas and i am so excited to see what warranted that kind of a price cut this is seven beds 13 baths over 20,000 square feet and i can tell just from looking at it that it is a monstrosity why does this look like the public pool over here uh why is this an octagon and that's a weird circle dome and that looks like some other shape of dome this this roof line is bananas what are these about they don't this one matches the circle up here this one is, is under a gable roof uh, what is this strange tower stuck in the middle i uh, so many questions so many questions i'm excited for this one we could see it's maybe got a second building here but this is clearly clearly the main attraction we are near a lake this house was built in 2001 uh so i i assume anything that's wrong with it we can blame on 9 11. uh that's that's what we're, <laughs> what we're gonna lean into all right, we do have some some beautiful. I don't think those are cherry. I think that might be red bud trees. Is is more typical down there? Yeah, that's that's what those look like to me. Is red bud? Uh, you can you can make edible stuff out of red bud. Fun fact. Look into it. I'm not going to give you details because I don't remember them. This pool, we got a, a few covered areas. I'm I'm thinking that this is the jacuzzi. I don't know what's happening with this weird walkway thing or why there's this uh, heart shaped area it looks like this is the diving board this is the shallow area you can walk in i don't know what the deal is around the hot tub you know what it's at least it's not a boring pool i'll give it that they put they put some creativity into it it looks like we've got little rivers that that feed into it here little fountain things there's there's fun stuff going on there's another shot of the property from above i can't really tell what this is that we got going on over here um that's just a pit into nothing or maybe a fishing pond or something i don't know this what is that is this is like a general store that's a phone booth is this this is an auxiliary property but this looks commercial almost let me check that this property is actually residential yeah this is residential it, it advertises itself as meant for multi-generational living so you're supposed to make your your shitty trust fund kids that hate you live on the same property with you uh, but other than that this is all meant for one family oh that is a grand foyer oh wow they went they leaned all the way into that uh we we just got the one staircase but boy does it take up space like it's two and instead of a foyer table they've done a grand piano like we're in the carson peary scott for those of you who aren't from chicago that's like a big department store and the, and they would always have the the big grand piano at the base of the escalator and occasionally there would be a man there playing you know classical music while you went up the escalator oh here's the view from above it's even more dramatic this way i didn't think it could get more dramatic all right we got a sitting room they've not fallen into the trap of the too much room in the sitting room they've just let some space be empty uh we've got a very dramatic fireplace with art above it God, are those like those got to be two-story windows, I think. Um, and then this very stern, formal-looking sitting area. Oh, the space isn't actually as big as it looked from that other camera angle. That's not that much space to leave open. This is actually a 
reasonably sized room. All right. Oh, we've got this. What is this balcony up here? That's, you know, if I was a kid living in this house, it would, it would take like maybe a week before I did something horrifically unsafe from this balcony. These weird little cut, are those windows through to another room in here? Interesting. That seems hard to clean. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. What is this? I'm... I, I feel like this space, I see that it is a sitting room. I see that it's two couches and a fireplace. But in my mind, there's a round bed in there. And this is intended for, like, 70s era swinger sex parties. That's the only application I can think of such a round space. Why? That's... The, the, and the columns just break it up awkwardly. They offer no actual privacy. They're just weird and blocky. You couldn't have done like a slender column. I feel like that would have looked moderately less weird. And why is it round? And why is one of these couches very formal and one of them is plaid? Answer me. Oh, we've got a... Is this... There's a church in this house. House, I'm going to be hate-crimed. Dear Lord. Oh, oh God. We got stained glass windows. That's the church right there. That's the church that's built. How do you have a church built into the house? Is this one of those things where, like, like is someone in the family a, a, a religious leader? Uh, do we have a priest living here? Is this one of these families where, like, all right, so, so like, in, in a lot of big... Irish Catholic families, you, you have 10 kajillion kids and the oldest son becomes a priest and the oldest daughter becomes a nun. So you get all your bases covered with Jesus. Uh, is that what they did here? And they, they just knew that they would have one? <gasps> Questions. Questions abound. Oh, here's the library. It's got a, another dramatic staircase. I You know what? There, there is something so extra about the the bookcase ladder but i i'm so into it <laughs> I'm, I'm buying it i hook line and sinker yeah look at that that's so much that's so much and it's so unsafe to get up there like you have to i think you have to climb all the way up and like stand up there to reach anything right unless you know other people might be at normal height and be able to reach i, I forget that other people can reach things yeah these dragons those are so much the plaid blinds are just, they're, they're not matching the caliber of the house. Oh, and we've got more awkward balconies. That balcony, does it serve any purpose other than to just give you spaces to shout down from? All right, when, when I was growing up, one of my, one of my friends had like an, an awkward window from like an upstairs bedroom into the living space. And the only thing that it was ever used for was like, instead of walking downstairs to get someone's attention, we, we would take like 10 fewer steps to go through to this bedroom and stick our heads out the window, and shout down to her mom if she could drive us to the mall or something. Very formal dining room here. We've got a brick inset. I'm thinking there might be a, a fireplace behind that chair, but I can't see. Can lights for days, they really went all out on the can lights, and they're not even symmetrical, the can lights. I guess this, 2001 really was the peak era of the can lights, so I guess, I guess we can forgive them on that. These came with the house. No one drilled those in after the fact. All right, here's the kitchen, and so far I see two sinks. Uh, two ovens, no stove, no fridge. Oh no, I lied. That's the fridge. That's the, that's a camouflaged fridge because you can't let them know you eat. You cannot let them know that you are a mortal who needs food or you will die. And now that I'm looking at it, we also have a, a stove top over here. That's an induction stove top. It's just kind of, it's interestingly tucked into this, which looks more like a piece of furniture than, you know, cabinetry. Um, interesting. Interesting. And and instead of doing the uh, the island and the sandbar, which we've seen in other houses, 
because it's such an awkwardly long space, they've just got two islands side by side, one of which has a sink and stools and one of which seems to have nothing. We've got another awkward window through to the upstairs. Why? Why does all of the upstairs need access to the downstairs? Is that why we haven't seen any in intercoms in this house? Are the, are the holes in the walls serving as the intercom system that you just shout through the house? Look at the, the, the line of lights above these windows. God, it's all so ugly. Look at that ceiling. What is the point of having a ceiling that high if it's just going to be blank and white and filled with can lights? There's nothing interesting going on up there. It's not like anyone can get up there. It's literally, it literally just exists to be expensive to heat and cool. All right, we can see the view out from the sink. Here's another sitting dining room kind of area. Um, we got a, a very groovy bench seat here and a lazy Susan in the middle of the table. Those are some choices. This pattern is a choice. I'm actually, I actually kind of like that pattern. You know what? It's, it's colorful. We always complain about there not being color in these houses and there's not that much in here. Look at all this white. Uh, so at least they've got some color there. Oh, that ceiling is so much. That's very intense. Uh, the fireplace is very intense. We got stadium seating, so people can watch you fuck. We've got some um, unnecessary neoclassical columns that are holding up exactly nothing. They're structurally unnecessary. They're just there to evoke problematic themes. Here's the, this I'm assuming is the master bath. And we've got the giant bathtub and then this this funky little partition off from the shower. The shower doesn't actually have a door, it looks like. It's just open with these sheets of glass. So it never gets cold. This is open to the bedroom. There's no door between the bathroom and the bedroom. So this room literally never gets warm. Uh, and, and you wouldn't want it to because you've got this painting right over the bathtub and the hu the humidity would destroy it. So their solution was to make this open to the rest of the house in every way. Cool. There's the shower. This is, it's so big, but the only shower space, that looks like a very small shower head and it's like tucked away into this little corner. So all of this space is doing nothing absolutely nothing you shower huddled down in this corner and then you just have to take this long awkward trek through this tiled pathway all right here's the path up to the house it's it's a beautiful property i mean it's, it's a beautiful ecology down here that is a i feel like maybe they photoshopped the blueness of that water that doesn't look real here's that country store property again i don't know what that's about um, oh, here's, here's the stables. Hi, horses. Those are some startled looking horses. I love how startled horses always look. Oh, here's, here's the workout room in the attic of the stable. That's an interesting choice because you know what? When I think about oversized, over anxious prey animals, I think maybe I should clank some weights directly over their head every single day. Um, at least we've got a nice diversity of machines. Um, yeah, it looks like they, they really put some resources into this. I just hope that the horses aren't like moments from a heart attack every time those white weights hit too hard. Oh, wow. Oh, we've got a, this is like a high school gym. I don't know. I think it's I think it's the string lights above that make me think that they're setting up for prom or something. Uh, but yeah, no, this is this is a, a high school gym that's being set up for the school dance and the, the stuffed animals. That's OK. Fascinating. Is everyone here homeschooled? Oh, oh, of course, there's a bowling alley. We are ticking off the rich people boxes. We've got our bowling alley. It's a double lane. And we've got some interesting, are those album covers here? And we've got some toy cars up top. Interesting. I love that this is so like loud and exciting and colorful. And then the rest of the space is white. 
white ceiling, gray walls, gray carpet. And like, you're allowed this one little corner of color. You couldn't, you couldn't even let them do colors up here. That's so sad. Oh, we got shuffleboard. Wait, if we have shuffleboard, no billiards table, that is going to be, it's going to be a game changer there. I recognize this as a dance floor only because that's a thing that you can buy in The Sims. And I was like, why is there this random flat piece of plastic in the middle of the carpet? It's, it's the anti-carpet. It's because it's a dance floor. Do you think they're actually having dance parties? I don't know about that. Yeah, this looks like, oh, this is the basement bar. You got like a bar set up. So it's, it's like a mini kitchen thing going on down here. Man. That is tacky as shit. What is going on down here? I don't know what those... Those are bowling shoes. Oh my God, they're bowling shoes. Because I, I don't, you live here. You live here. You can't just go in your socks or like, I don't know, a normal pair of shoes. You could choose from any of the shoes that you own. You have to have special bowling shoes. You lame ass motherfucker. Here's more detail on the pool. We've got like this weird little buoy area off there. Oh, we got a basketball hoop. That's fun. Oh, those are actual slides that you can go down. You can like walk up there and then go down the slide. That's fun. All right, that's that's a fun time. And then we got the actual fountain here. We got like a little observatory up here for the adults that want to be in the shade and, and just look down as the children make mayhem. This is, all right, you know what? I'm I'm sold on this pool. It's it's a cool pool. And look at that. Oh, you got fountains coming off of the jacuzzi. I'm into that. This little bridge thing is a little bit much, but all right, we're leaning into it. We're making like a mini resort outside. The house though. God, that's so much. Is this the is this the church? Is that like a chimney steeple? Oh, here's the here's the pool lit up at night. Is the house lit up at night? Oh, that's... Uh, that might be a second pool. Oh, wait a second. Hold... Hold the phone. That's a Ferris wheel. This is... Is this like some sort of obstacle course? Like like those uh, Ninja Warrior kind of things? Or like a playground? Oh, this place just got so much cooler. Like that's so much. It's so extra. But if you were a kid living there, holy shit. Like first of all, you are absolutely going to grow up into like the world's biggest asshole because you've got so much clout at school. Everyone wants to go to your parties because you've got a fucking Ferris wheel and a pool with water slides and whatever the shit this is like you can emotionally abuse the other children as much as you want because you have just so much clout in the child community uh but aside from that fun fun so much fun i would put up with emotional abuse as a child in order to come to this party absolutely i would i put up with a lot more for a lot less i'll tell you that Got a bath. I think this might be like a pool house bathroom. This looks a little, you know, like you go in there to shower before you go in the pool. Oh, man. All right. These these are the most spoiled children in the universe. We got foosball. We got pinball. We got ski ball. All the balls that you could ever want. And we've got an indoor movie theater. But this indoor movie theater was clearly made specifically for like a favorite child like this is this is so specific to someone's tastes that like the children did not work together and collaboratively decide on this this was like the one child that sucks up to grandma who was like grandma can i design the theater and she was like of course you can the guitar that's oh and we got a conference room because what's a work-life balance we got two tvs in this room what what do you possibly need to be watching unless you're like conferencing people in maybe got bookshelves with not a single book on them holy shit no not a single book we don't need to read well i guess we got the whole library <laughs> you gotta just trek across the whole house to the library 
Got another workout room? That's... In case you didn't feel like trekking out to the barn, then what's the point of the one in the barn? Is that like, oh, I feel like I need to get out of the house. I know. I'll walk down to the barn and work out. I, uh, okay. All right. What? Uh, baffled. Absolutely baffled. Also, the fact that this was clearly not intended to be a workout space. This is like below the spire, you know, the spiral staircase that runs through the whole house. So this is below like the grand foyer and they just tacked in a second workout room. Okay. This room has a lot of personality in it. Some, someone uh, really had some opinions on how they wanted this decorated. Uh, I like the colors. I like that they've used the weird angles of the weird roof uh, to create cool lines in it. Hate the can lights. I especially hate that the can lights are in addition to these ceiling mounted lights and the and the ceiling fan. And also that the ceiling is so freaking high that I feel like those lights don't actually do anything in here. They're, they're just miles away. And then you've got this weird wall with more can lights above the bed that it, it's like a, it's like a wall that you would see at a gallery. I assume this goes back to a bathroom which has no door to it. Oh, all right, that's a very intense, sh it's a very intense shower. But in addition to that, these sideways things, they blast sideways and you only have this little thing between this, like, I, I feel like those would just like clear across to the window. I don't even know what this space is for. Is this, I don't know where this is. It seems to be above. It's one of those awkward balconies. I don't remember what the awkward, what this particular awkward balcony was over, but apparently there's, this is just an extra room that they had no use for. A multi-generational living and, and they don't have a use for this space. Oh, we got an intense laundry room. I guess you've got enough people living in the house. You need that. Got an elevator. We love accessibility. And that is this house. I feel like we saw a lot, but also I, I feel like it did not give up all of its secrets to us. There, there was more horrors to be beheld uh, that, that we didn't get to see. Uh, it's a strange freaking house. I, and I feel like it doesn't, it's not even coherently strange other than like maybe the army of can lights, but a child's paradise. Let's give it that. Absolutely a child's paradise. Uh, actively crafting mean girls. It's just churning them out like an assembly line, the mean girls. But other than that, it's, it's, yeah, people complain about these big mansions looking so chaotic and they're like hacked together and there's 10 different architectural styles happening in the same roof, which is absolutely the case here. And the fact that they've just ticked off random boxes of, you know, the movie theater, the bowling alley. That, you know, we saw shuffleboard with no billiards table. I, maybe that's what they should have used that upstairs room for, is the billiards table. But I, overall, it's, it's that's that's the core of the McMansion, isn't it? Is is just opulence with no direction, wealth with no taste. You can't, that's, that's the, the name of the channel after all, you can't buy taste. And these people just are, are throwing money at, at the wall and hoping that it ends up good. And it ends up just a mishmash. Yeah. Well, I, I feel like Missouri is, is the heartland, you know, it's the, the Midwest, is, it really forms kind of a, a neutral core. And maybe I'm saying that because I'm from the Midwest. Um, and, and I feel like this is kind of the neutral core of the McMansion. You know, it's, it's tacky. It's taste. It's weird. This is so weird. Jesus Christ. What is that? Uh, okay. Well, if you saw anything you think I missed, uh, if, if you have any more coherent thoughts about 
I don't know, what this house means about the state of our reality, uh, leave it in the comments. <laughs> Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.